<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> the perfect place to come on a wonderful day like today. <laughs> Hello everyone, you sound like a very happy chappy today, Ben. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it seems like Ben has more than just a smile on his face. He's got a big red spot too. Ooh. Hey. Uh, that's small. Why are you staring at me? Staring? Yes. Maybe you think I look rather handsome today. <laughs> it's not that, Ben. I'm staring at your spot. What spot? That one on your chin. Where? <laughs> there. Oh, it's no good. I can't see it. I need a mirror. But we don't have a mirror, Ben. Why don't you try seeing your reflection in something shiny, like a saucepan lid? Good idea, little cook. Right. Oh, there we are. Here we go. Let's have a look at this spot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My face looks all funny in this, little cook. It's sort of fat and sort of thin at the same time. <laughs> but I still can't see this spot, though. <laughs> oh! Sounds like we've got a customer. I'll have to worry about that later. Go and see who it is, little cook. I'm on my way. Woohoo! So, who's our customer today, Small? Well, she's white with brown spots. Hmm. White with brown spots, you say? Give us another clue. She likes to go moo. And she's very good at jumping over the moon. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Ho, ho, it's Clover, the cow who jumped over the moon. You're right, Ben. Clover the cow. Now, what would a moon-jumping cow like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One evening, I was camping out under the stars when... I was suddenly awoken by the sound of a fiddle. Followed by loud laughter. <laughs> I poked my head out of the tent and saw a cat playing the fiddle, whilst a little dog, a cow, a china dish and a silver spoon danced together beneath the moon. When the music stopped, I cheered. Hello, laughed the little dog. Come and watch Clover the cow. She's going to jump over the moon. It won't be easy, said Clover. The moon is in a bit of a silly mood. Everyone looked up at the moon. Silly Billy me, it giggled, and it bounced around the sky. We all held our breath as Clover tried to jump over the moon, but it kept bouncing away. I wish the moon would keep still. Clover groaned. I can't jump over it. Suddenly, I had an idea. You are such a beautiful moon. It stopped bouncing and listened. So creamy and dreamy, I continued. You're nearly as beautiful as the other moon. What other moon? said the moon. It's there. Floating on top of the lake, I said. The moon stayed very still as it stared at its own reflection in the lake 
and whilst it was staring, moo! Clover the cow leapt right over it. Hooray! I cheered. There isn't really a moon more beautiful than you, I told the moon. It's just your own reflection in the water. <laughs> Silly Billy me, giggled the moon, admiring its own reflection. And suddenly it saw Clover's reflection too, just as she jumped over it. <laughs> we look wonderful together, Clover, said the moon. So Clover kept jumping and the little dog laughed and laughed. <laughs> Little Cook to the Rescue once again! That was a great adventure! So Clover jumped over the moon, and the moon was very pleased indeed, thanks to you, Small. Thanks, Ben! So, what can we cook for a hungry moon leaper? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Ben! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Aha! Here we go! I found just the recipe for clover. It's creamy, it's dreamy, and a little bit dotty too. It's spotty trifle! And it's spotty just like Clover the Cow. <laughs> it's moo-pa-dooper. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you read out the ingredients, Little Cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need jelly. Oh, jelly, yes. Here we go. Jelly in the cupboard. Oh, we're using strawberry, but you can use any flavour you like. Trifle sponges. In the cupboard as well. Got the trifle sponges, Small. Jam. Oh, jam, yes. Lovely jam. Yep. A tin of fruit cocktail. Oh, very fruity. Got the fruit cocktail. Custard. Oh, lovely yellow custard. I love this. Got it, Small. Chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Oh, lovely chocolate buttons. I love these. In the fridge. Chocolate buttons. Got those too, Small. And some cream for whipping. Oh, delicious cream. Here we go. Oh, right. OK. There we are. Right. Small, we don't seem to have any cream for whipping. Oh, no. But it's OK, cos we've got everything else. So why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get all the ingredients ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I love the countryside. That's grass. Something is eating the grass. What is it? It's a cow. <laughs> this is a milking parlour. Pipes are put on the cow's udders to suck out the milk. I wonder where the milk goes next. Hey, what's in that big tanker? Oh, it's full of the milk from the cows. The milk is being delivered to the dairy. That man is connecting up a pipe so that the milk can travel from the tanker into the dairy to be made into cream. This is the dairy. The milk is heated up to just the right temperature and it travels through all these pipes. The cream is separated from the milk. Hey, that's the cream! Now the cream is poured into this machine. It's called a pasteuriser. The cream is heated up to get rid of any harmful bugs. This makes it safe to eat. The cream is now cool and ready to put into bottles. Remember to keep your cream in the fridge. I'd better get some of this cream back to the cafe. See you later. Mirror, mirror, made of foil, help me see my big red boil. Way! I'm back. Have you managed to see your spot yet, Ben? <laughs> Not yet, Small. This foil's too crinkly. 
Well, let's get on with making the trifle. It'll cheer you up. Woohoo! And I brought back the cream. Woohoo! Woo ho ho! Well done, Small. It's so scrummy and creamy. I had a great time. I saw cows being milked. Moo! <laughs> and then I went to the dairy where I saw cream being made. Oh, yummy! Come on then, Small. Let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Spotty Trifle? You do. There was jelly. One packet of your favourite flavour. We're using strawberry. Trifle sponges. Four. Jam. One tablespoon of your favourite flavour. Again, we're using strawberry. Fruit cocktail. One tin. Custard. One carton. Chocolate buttons. One packet. And cream for whipping. 250 millilitres. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've cut the trifle sponges in half, and now I'm going to cover them in the sticky jam. Hoo -hoo. There's one. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I love jammy jobs. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Finish the last one off. Nice and jammy. <laughs> on goes the top, and we can lay the trifle sponges at the bottom of a trifle bowl. There we are. Oh, I think I'll have to keep my eye on Little Cook so he doesn't eat all the jam. He can't resist it. Mm. I'm just checking the jam's nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, yes. And now you've got a jammy moustache. <laughs> <laughs> I love jam. <laughs> oh, right. These sponges are lovely and jammy now, so I'm going to sieve the juice from the fruit cocktail into a bowl to separate the fruit from the juice. And this is a slippy, sloppy job, so look out you don't get dripped on, little cook. <laughs> Drip this way, please, Ben. Mm. <laughs> right, now I can sprinkle the fruit over the sponges. You can use fresh fruit if you like. Fruit is very good for you. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's your spot? I'd forgotten all about my spot until you reminded me. <laughs> right, now I've already dissolved the jelly cubes in some hot water. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the water is hot, hot, hot. Once the cubes have dissolved, we can pour it all over the sponges and the fruit. Do it quite carefully so that it doesn't splash. Splash this way, please, Ben. <laughs> When the jelly has cooled down, it needs to go in the fridge to set for two hours. So, over we go. And into the fridge. For two hours. The jelly is set now, so it's time to pour on the custard. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's like a lovely yellow custody waterfall. Is it time to put the cream on now, Ben? Yes, it is, Small, and it's going to get gloopy, so stand well back. <laughs> Pour the cream into a bowl like this, and then start mixing. It'll start to get thicker. <laughs> An electric whisk will help, but I'm going to try and do it with my arm. Be careful, Ben. <laughs> oh, no. I've been splashed. 
Whoops! Sorry, small. Now look who's got spots. <laughs> <laughs> I better go and get myself cleaned up. <laughs> now the cream's ready when it starts to make little mountain peaks like this. So once it's ready, we can start to spread it on the custard. So I'm going to take a spoon and onto the custard it goes. And we've got lots of it, so get it all on. There we go, lovely and creamy. And spread it out. Nice and smooth. <laughs> what about the spots, Ben? A spotty trifle needs spots. Ho <laughs> ho, whoops, I almost forgot. To make the trifle spotty, we cover it with chocolate buttons. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. <laughs> there. And when the trifle's nice and spotty, it's finished. Quick, Ben. Get it to clover the cow while it's still nice and cool. OK, then. One spotty trifle coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Clover the cow enjoyed her spotty trifle. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the scrumptious spotty trifle. Hoo-hoo! I'm very busy moon jumping these days. The moon keeps still most of the time. She loves watching our reflections in the lake. Oh, talking about reflections, I have a moon mirror for each of you. I hope your spot goes soon, Big Cook Ben. Big moves from Clover. Look, Small, it's mirrors. Here's your mirror, Small. Thanks, Ben. Oh, how very kind of Clover. And how very handsome. <laughs> Aha, at last, a mirror. Now let's have a look at this spot. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not a spot. <laughs> it's a blob of tomato sauce. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Look for everyone.